Of course, if um, we have something like paper Bitcoin, then that can be inflated. Um, now, in recent months, the first Bitcoin ETFs um, have been uh, started in the US mostly. And uh, a Bitcoin ETF is issued by a company, by a corporation like BlackRock or Fidelity or uh, what their name might be. So nobody really knows uh, what's going on there. It's a centralized corporation. It's in transparent. It's not like built in open source code like Bitcoin. So of course, uh, these corporations could sell more um, certificates of Bitcoin or paper Bitcoin than there are. And this, of course, is a problem because especially for the people who only hold paper, worthless paper in their hands. And um, in a way, yes, it can also uh, keep the price or the value of Bitcoin lower because people basically buy something and buying of these paper Bitcoin doesn't have a real effect on the supply of Bitcoin. So um, it has effects that um, no one really wants, um, mostly not those people who are buying this paper Bitcoin. And so um, for me, I would never ever buy a Bitcoin ETF or a certificate like that because I don't believe really in the security of these tools, um, I much more trust uh, the Bitcoin blockchain and the code and the community because everything is built in the open. Everything is transparent and no one can inflate uh, the Bitcoin supply, um, which is guaranteed by uh, the, the, the basically the rules in Bitcoin. Yeah, like we have rules without rulers in Bitcoin, like Andreas Antonopoulos always said. And um, with certificates, uh, you have rulers uh, who have their own rules. <laughs> I mean, they should follow uh, their standards and what in principle, um, also banks um, should always give you your money. Uh, but hey, sometimes hmm, um, you might be censored by the government because you maybe are from the opposition or whatever. So I trust Bitcoin. I trust in mathematics and open source code. So I believe it can be inflated and it will be one day. Hello, my name is Anita Posch and if you liked that video, please subscribe to my channel now to inspire me to create more content like this. And if you want to learn more about Bitcoin, then sign up for my free weekly Bitcoin newsletter at anita.link news.